Good morning everyone this is Karan Singh and today in this video we will see a poem of class 9th that is Rain on the Roof written by Coates Kinney. So in this poem first of all uh, I will tell you the brief introduction of its poet Coates Kinney and the brief introduction of uh, the poem. And then after I will read the poem line by line and uh, will give its explanation. So uh, let us come to start. First of all, we will see about its poet, Coates Kinney. So Coates Kinney was born on uh, 24th November in the year of 1826 in New York, United States and he was dead on 25 January in the year of 1904 in United States. He was an American lawyer, politician, journalist and poet. So this is a very brief introduction about uh, its uh, poet Coates uh, Kenny. Now I will uh, tell you the brief introduction of uh, its uh, poem Rain on the Roof. So in this poem Rain on the Roof it is based about the rain in, the, in this poem. The poet tells about uh, the memory which is uh, uh, which the poet has of the rain and when the rain drops fall on uh, the roof of his house the sound of rain drops brings back uh, the sweet memories of his past I mean the past of uh, the poet so this is uh, the brief introduction of uh, the of uh, this uh, poem so let us uh, read the poem and see its explanation but before uh, reading it, let's see this one. Here poet says, When the sky is covered with dark cloud and it starts raining, have you ever listened the patter of a soft rain on the roof? What thought flashed through your mind as you heard this melody of nature? Now read the, this poem and try to find out what the poet dreamed of while listening the rain drop. Okay, so let's begin it. In the first paragraph, in the very first paragraph, poet says, When the humid shadow hover over all the starry spares, and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in the rainy tears. What a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain over heart. So this is the first paragraph of this uh, poem. So first of all, uh, see some words and its uh, meaning. So number one is a humid. So here humid means full of moisture and uh, sh you know shadow. Shadow here uh, used to refer to the cloud. Uh, hover. Uh, hover it means to move uh, around or to float in the sky. Uh, melancholy. Melancholy means uh, something which is very sad. And uh, the next word is uh, just a bliss, uh, bliss of a bliss to press. So bliss, uh, me you can say very uh, you know uh, cheerful or happy happiness. And uh, next the cottage chamber. Cottage here means a small hut, a chamber. It means uh, you can say small room. But here cottage chamber is used for bedroom. And um, the patter here word patter has been used. Patter is a sound, you know, sound word. Uh, here it's the sound of a rain drop. So this is uh, all uh, 
the word which has been you uh, no difficult word which has been used now let's see uh, its explanation of this paragraph so here in the first paragraph you know here in the this para you know in this paragraph po poet is uh, uh, telling that when uh, the humid shadow means uh, a uh, humid cloud hover uh, here humid shadow some somewhere uh, refers uh, to the dark cloud which are full of water and uh, here the poet is telling that when the sky is full of these clouds which are moisture laden uh, are full of water and about to bring rain uh, when uh, such a cloud hover i mean float around in the sky over all the starry sphere means in the sky here uh, you know starry sphere uh, refers to the sky when especially uh, at the night uh, at night time uh, when uh, 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 when uh, it is so which is full of uh, a uh, star at night especially the sky is full of stars at uh, that time cloud which uh, are full of moisture move around in the sky and uh, the sadness of uh, the night is completely wiped off completely vanished by the uh, rain drop of the by the rain drop drops of the array which seems uh, like uh, uh, here poet says which uh, which seems this uh, the, this rain drops you know which seems like a tear which is falling from the sky here the poet is just comparing uh, the rain drops to the tear tears and uh, he says that the dark sky uh, uh, which uh, seems to be very sad it appears as if the sky is crying here poet says as rain drops falls then it me it appears the ray the sky i mean the sky is crying and the rain drops uh, are the tears you know are the tears of uh, sky which uh, are said by the sky but further the poet says that it is like a blessing to for himself he says it is like uh, you know the blessing to lie on the bed in his room and here somewhere the cottage uh, you know chamber as i told you cottage chamber means a uh, bedroom here uh, uh, when he uh, uh, no listen to the sound uh, which is made by the rain drop falling on his the roof so by lying where in his room poet was very uh, bliss means he was very happy to hear the patter i mean the sound the falling sound of a rain drop on his roof so in this you know in this paragraph he tells how he means what he feels about rain drop when it falls where on uh, uh, on his on the roof of his house i hope this paragraph has been cleared to you all if it is clear let us move to the next paragraph so here in the second paragraph uh, the poet says every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections wave their air threads into woof as i listen to the patter of rain upon the roof so uh, let's uh, see some words and its a meaning here uh, so poet has used tinkle so tinkle is also a ringing a uh, sound you can say the sound you know it's a sound and uh, here uh, word has uh, you know poet is singles singles uh, uh, means here yeah, tiles are uh, the stones uh, which uh, are which are used to make the roof of any house here echo word has been also used echo means to re uh, some uh, repeated sound again means a sound which is repeated again and again the same sound which is repeated again and again that is here echo and uh, the so next word recollection you know that recollection means uh, the you know the old memories and the oof oof here uh, um, something uh, old 
memory which is uh, uh, which person used uh, you, which person used to remember of his past patter as i told you the patter is a sound you know raindrop the sound of raindrop roof it is clear so now let's see the explanation of the second paragraph uh, what uh, does uh, the poet here say about uh, uh rain so he says here in the second paragraph uh he just here ek like, uh, you know expressing his feeling when uh, he hears the raindrops falling on the roof of his house he says that every a tinkle uh, abhi um, every ting uh, tinkle on uh, uh, the singles has an echo in his heart of uh, in his art in his heart means in in the poet's heart Uh, whenever he hears rain falling on the rooftop uh, the sound uh, you know repeats in his heart and in uh, his dreams also here uh, he uh, has a lot of different fanciful imagination by uh, listening the pattering sound of the rain on his on his roof further the poet says that uh, the uh, now this sound of the rain falling on the rooftop creates so many new different dreams in his minds he recalls so many memories of his past which come back into his mind as in the form of uh, so many dreams so here the poet says that as he listens the a uh, patter uh, pattering i mean the sound of a rain drop upon uh, the roof of his house he has uh, many new dreams in his mind and the memory of the past come back in the form of uh, dreams in after listening the pattering of uh, pattering sound of a uh, falling rain drop on his house so this is all about the explanation of the second paragraph i hope it is clear to you all if it is clear let us move to the next paragraph uh, okay this is the third paragraph and the last one is so here in this paragraph the poet is telling that now in the memory comes my mother as she used in years agone to regard the darling dreamers ere she left them till the dawn oh i feel her fond look on me as i list to this refrain which is played upon the singles by the patter of the rain so first of all see some uh, words because the poet has used some you know old poetic words in this paragraph so let's uh, try find out the meaning of uh, those uh, words so here in in the in the very beginning the poet has used one word that is air so here this is a very old poetic words uh, which is used for before which is used for before air here it means before and uh, next as he, as you all know that dawn dawn is uh, the sun you know day break or you can say sunrise time here poet has also used i list so list word has been used of uh, this is also uh, old poetic words which means listen which means listen next word is reframe frame refrain here means a repeated part of a poem which is you uh, know repeated many times or a song so here which has been repeated the sound of the rain has been repeated by the poet in this para in this uh, passage yeah, in this poem so these all are some words and its meaning now let's see the explanation of this a uh, paragraph so here in the third paragraph you know in this paragraph the poet uh, introduces his uh, mother here he says that uh, he is uh, you know dreaming of his mother as he uh, has told in the previous uh, you know in previous in in, in previous paragraph paragraphs are stanzas that the this rain uh, the falling the sound this rain brings the memory of the past uh, and it is now the memory of his mother who is no longer alive 
and uh, in the past uh, poet says that uh, she, uh, in the past she used to love him a lot and she used to consider him as a darling and she would let him to sleep till daybreak and have that is why he uh, poet have a lot poet has a lot of dreams and the poet can still uh, feel that his mother is looking uh, at uh, him um, when he hears uh, uh, the sound as he listens uh, listens to uh, the you know song which uh, is made by the raindrops falling on the roof of his house uh, so by listening it he feels that uh, still he, he uh, his mother uh, is looking at him at him as she used to look at uh, Uh, him uh, when she was alive in past time so whenever he hears listen uh, the song of the pattering sound of uh, rain the song of the rain the memory uh, the memories of uh, his mother uh, comes where in his mind in his dream so here the sound of the rain makes him uh, correlate uh, with his past with poet's past uh, with the present you can say so therefore uh, the poet is completely moved by the sound of the raindrops on uh, the single of his uh, singles of his house whenever he hears the uh, sounds it brings back the memories of uh, his past and he come you know he is reminded of his mother by listening the patter pattering sound uh, of uh, the rain on the roof so this is the explanation of uh, the third paragraph i hope it is clear to you all all right